Hi, I'm the 13th Wolf Man, and the other day I posted a video showing a, a recent pickup I got. And in that video, I said there were more to come. The, mo the movie that I showed you then was Bloody Birthday. And like I said, I said that there were more movies to come because I picked up more. Well, I now watched a few more, and uh, the two that I'm going to show you today that I picked up along with that one were Savage County and Blood Knight, The Legend of Mary Hatchet. Savage County is put out by MTV New Media. I'll be honest, this movie wasn't really that bad. It's kind of a retelling of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre without the chainsaw. You know, you have this uh, creepy family that lives out in the sticks of Texas. Um, in the same town as these teenagers and one night the teenagers I want not one night but one day the teenagers go out there to go uh, they go out to this area to go swimming and they're trespassing basically on the family's land and someone mentions that there's a creepy family out there that lives in this little house and so they plan on doing a what they call a ring and run you know basically ring the doorbell run well when they get out there there's no doorbell but the kid knocks on the door and the, the one of the one of the family members comes out and with a shotgun and threatens the kid that knocked on the door another one of the teenagers comes up from behind and whacks the old man in the back of the head with a shovel so they basically pissed off all these redneck hillbillies, uh, wannabes, you know, by by killing one of their family members. And from that point on, it takes like a really cool turn. I mean, it. I enjoyed this movie. I I was surprised when I heard that you know MTV new video uh, new media was behind it. It's like really, MTV. Um, it was it was pretty good. So yeah, Savage County actually has a decent story to it. Then you got Blood Knight, The Legend of Mary Hatchet with Daniel Harris and Bill Mosley. And the thing I liked about this was the explanation of why things happen. I don't want to give it away, but I I just I thought it was pretty creative. Uh again, we have teenagers, you know, and uh, they're all having a party. I'm trying to think, you know, it's like, well, let's start back at the beginning. Um, at the beginning, there was this family of three, a, a mother, a father, and a daughter. And one night, their 12-year-old daughter loses her mind and kills the family. She is then arrested. And since they can't put her in jail, they locked her away in a nut house. Where uh, 10, 11 years go by, and she loses her mind again. And she winds up killing, like, most of the people on the staff. Which just... I don't want to give too much more of it away, because if you haven't seen this movie... It's it's kind of cool. Danielle Harris does a great job in it. Uh, Bill Mosley is in it. At first I thought Bill Mosley was only going to be in it for like a few seconds. I was like, oh my god, it's one of those movies where someone just makes a small appearance. But it's he's in it more than that. And if you notice, Bill Mosley in this movie is dressed like Crazy Ralph from the Friday the 13th films. The early films, like 1 and 2. So, yeah, I say check it out. It, it's definitely cool. So this was my other pickup, along with Savage County, which I, you know, put down over there a second ago. So that's it. That's two more. Um, I still have a few more to show you. They're coming in small waves. So I'm the 13th Wolfman, and I'm on the prowl.